Hey guys, um, I'm gonna just get right in it and I have like a little like admission to make to you before you fucking chop my damn head off as if, okay? And that's about my nails. You think I don't, you think I'm not aware of it? Like you think you don't, I don't know. Um, if you are not, so if you were like a, on my Patreon, if you're subscribed to my Patreon, I talked about this like a few weeks ago when I got them done, like I think two weeks ago. Anyway, yes, I am very aware that I have lime, slime green nails on. I know, which is very St. Patrick's Day. It's very against my my thoughts on holiday nails. I hate fucking holiday nails. And before you fucking come for me, um, I'm gonna like stop you right there because you think I'm not aware of this. Yes, I am. But this is the thing. Like also I got, I don't know what it was. I had like this wild hair at my ass in like the beginning of March to get my nails done like slime green. I really wanted them. I didn't think about St. Patrick's Day. I'm not like six years old where I'm like thinking about leprechauns or like 21 where I want to go like get wasted on St. On Patty's Day. And I'm not Irish. So I don't give a fuck about St. Patrick's Day. Okay. It's not something I thought about. But now that I'm sitting here on fucking St. Patrick's Day with green ass nails, I know it's bad okay I get it I have not had time to have them changed plus this color really suits me it really suits me but I I but I just can't get over the fact that I have holiday nails I get it um anyway so I was, before you like I know you're like I thought you said I thought you said you always do that you're like oh I thought you said that like so annoying you're trying to trap me trying to like make a spectacle out of me as if I like don't follow my own rules like you know what I mean like you're so annoying so I had to fucking come here and clear the air and put you in your damn place before you fucking came for me. So annoying. Um, anyway, yeah, so I will be changing these tonight, even though I really love these. Like, they just suit me. Like, this color suits me, and I will be doing it again. Um, but it's just not around St. Patrick's Day. Like, I actually really fucked up. I just didn't even really know it was St. Patrick's Day. I didn't think about it um, until shortly after I got them done. But they still look really sick. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting the nails done today, or taken off today, because I will not be thought of as having St. Patrick's Day nails ever, okay? When I have holiday fucking nails. Anyway, guys, so today I have just like random things to show you um, that I bought. I know you guys love to like see my purchases. And I have like list things to talk about. I have like some really important list things. And I feel like this is a vibe that I've been doing lately. Like these like, um, I don't know what this like cut shirt is and like chains as always. And then like a big over, like a little button up. This is obviously from the men's section, but you wouldn't know because you shop in the women's section. The fucking rodents in the back. Okay. Um creepy little rodents okay so um anyway i'll probably get into some rants because i'm like actually infuriated but i'm not infuriated it's funny and i don't know if i'll get into it well no who knows who knows where this video is gonna go i have a lot to talk about i have a lot to like just broach with you guys um but i'm just whatever okay so i'm gonna get into it the first thing i don't have so much to get into okay um i want to talk about some things what i was talking about okay so the first thing i want to talk about is um i talked about the nails i guess i'll just talk about um just this thing okay it just has to be said i, w I don't know when i was gonna get into this i guess i'm getting into it now because it keeps popping keeps popping into my head to like mention but it's like one of okay it's some epiphany that i finally came to that we are we are we're done like we're actually done i like my hair like that like we're actually done with it and um that's the thing i'm gonna stop you right there if you're gonna start sending this video around to people i like to try and be like oh my god she doesn't like what you do something like that you know what i mean like you're stupid you think i give a fuck and by the way if you're my friend if we're friends and you get offended by this then we just can't be friends okay because i'm not talking about you i'm talking about me okay i'm not here to like make anyone out there happy i'm talking about my damn self okay like if you're offended by that then th that's not my deal okay you get offended too easy and that says that designer bags are out. Designer bags are tacky. Yes, they are. Okay. And I'm going to go into why. And I'm going to get into, I have a theory on it. I have a hypothesis and a theory. And we are speaking about it today, bitch. Okay. So designer bags are done. They are over. I never want to see one again. Throw them away. Put them away in the closet until I don't know when. Maybe they'll come back again. Probably not. I'm sick of them. I hate them. Every time I have a thousand designer bags, they are all disgusting. I'm like, wow, what did you, you chose that bag? Like what the fuck was your damn problem? Every time, like lately, literally for the past probably like a year that I go to put one of my designer bags on, it destroys my outfit. I could have the cutest outfit on, like the fucking cutest vibe outfit. I put on a Chanel bag or a Fendi or whatever it is, done. It's ugly. It's disgusting. I hate everything. Okay. And it's not an absolute. It's not an absolute. Okay. There are some bags that I still do love. Okay. So you don't have to be like, she hates, she hates your bags. You know what I mean? And maybe I too. What is it to you? Fucking little telltale rat. Okay. 
Anyway, um, you're a rodent. You're a scurrying little fucking filth, little like infested rodent in the back of the class. Okay. So yes, um, every time I put a design, one of my designer bags on, it like ruins my outfit, like, like destroys the outfit. Like I look so crusty and I look, and then like, there's, of course there's nothing to purchase either. Like I don't see anything to purchase. It's not like, it's not like I haven't purchased bags. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing to purchase. Like it's done. There's nothing cute. It's over. Here is my philosophy or my hypothesis, my theory, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's this. And I'm so right. So do you, are you guys like around my age? Do you remember when you could only wear designer jeans, like Rock and Republic, True Religion, Seven, whatever, like those brands. If you did not wear designer jeans of those brands, you were a loser. Do you remember that? Yes, it's true. And if you don't agree with me, it's because you were one of those losers. You had to have the fucking designer jeans in the back. The pockets had to have like the logo on. That was a thing. They were like $350 back then. And people bought them because if you didn't wear them, you were a loser like you are now. Okay. So that was way back then. And th that is the same thing that's going on now. These bags are like designer bags have become the new designer jeans. It's done. Like it's over. There is no good designer bags out there anymore. Everything is so tacky. Everything is, it's like, I honestly, I, I like, I would love to buy something that's nice. Like I would, I mean, I don't even know. It's not even that. It's like, it's not cute anymore. And I'm going to tell you why. I think it's because the internet has made it so easy for people to go and buy things secondhand or whatever. Or I don't know if it's like people just max out, or put it on their credit card and like they don't, I don't know. Maybe like people, we could have done that back. I don't know what it is. Like everyone has a designer bag now. It's not special anymore. Like it's, it, there's nothing about these. I don't know what it is, but it's like if every fucking Tom, Dick and Harry has a fucking designer bag or designer bag out there, I don't want it. Like it looks bad. Why would I want to wear what someone out there has zero vibe? Like not my vibe, not cute. Like, no, I don't like anything anymore. It's like, I am, I have like so many designer bags. You guys know that I would not wear the only one I will wear. Like the only brand that I think is good. And like I told you, this is not absolute. There are beautiful bags like depending on the whatever in, in like different designers that like I guess are pretty whatever I just don't think that it's a vibe anymore it's just like not a vibe I don't know what it is I think it's because it's like the designer gene theory it's like everyone it's like it's 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 I'm tired it's tired you know what I mean like it's like the the designer jeans it had everyone had to have it the designer bags everyone had to have one and now it's like no it's ugly it's so try hard it's like I don't know what it is. Plus the styles are like so ugly. Like whoever is like hiring these designers, like they are the, they are fuck, they are the ugliest shit. I've, I've never seen things so ugly in my life. Like there's nothing cute anymore. Um, but that's honestly my opinion. Okay. So it's like now when I put on it, like I told you, I put on an outfit, like nothing is cute. Right. And I just like have this like epiphany, like the only thing that's cute is like a, like a, a bag that's like a fuck bag. Like a, like I don't give a fuck bag. Okay. What it? Let me go back. Okay, let me go back. I was going to say like my bags, like my Hermes bags, like my Birkin. No, I never even wear that. Like in my little, it's like pink. It's like a little show piece. Like I would wear that with like, like nasty pajamas and like flip flop, like, like my like slides. Like I hate when people dress up Birkins. That is so cringe. Like no. Okay. Like wear it like trashy or don't fucking wear it. Okay. Like my constants. I love it. That's like the only thing I like. I have a couple other bags, whatever that I like here and there, but like 99% of them are done. It's over. Okay. It is designer jeans. That's my opinion. You know what? I may change my opinion next week. Who the fuck knows? But it's my opinion for the last year. Yes, it is. Okay. So anyway, then I like, I've been really liking Mew Mew lately. You guys know, like I like Mew Mew shoes and like whatever. And I'm just like, whatever. So like the bags that I do like, honestly, are the really stupid bags. Like you know, like the Prada, the little like nylon Prada bag that everyone has, like the cheap one, like nothing, simple bag. I like that. I have like the black one. Like, I think that's cute. I was thinking about getting like the, there was like a sky blue, not like the light blue, not like a navy, but there's like a, like a bright blue. Um, I was, I really like that, but they're like two grand, $1,800 for that shit. It was not that expensive before, whatever, done, not getting it. I'm not spending money. I'm not spending money bags anymore. I, I'm just not, they're not cute. Like they're not a vibe. I never see anyone with a bag that I'm like, I love it ever. And anyone wearing bags looks like a fucking dork. Like, I don't know what it is. People, Instagram has ruined bags. Like it's over. Like everyone is so tacky. Like I'm just sick of it. Okay. So I went to Miu Miu and I'm like, 
I just saw this. Like, I okay, I was like, I just, I don't know what it is. I just love it. It's like, I like these new like fuck bags. I call them like like trash bags. Like I just take this and just like just fuck, just like nothing. It's nothing, okay. But it's like cute at the same time. But okay, it's still designer. I'm not ready. Okay, I'm not ready to like literally go to like Target and buy a bag yet. Like I'm not, but I'm about ready to. Like that's where I am with bags because I don't want to wear anything that's obviously a designer. Like I don't. I don't want to wear a Chanel bag. I don't want to wear anything. Like, I don't want you. I don't like it. Like I don't know what it is about having a designer bag where it, it's so try hard. It's so like new money. I don't know what it is. It's just not good. It's, it's gone. I promise you it's like the, I'm, this, I'm, I feel very strongly about this because I am correct, bitch. Okay. So I know I saw this, I thought it was really cute. And I just feel like it's just a bag that you can just like, kind of just, it's nothing. Like it's like stupid. It's like trash, but it's like cute. See what I mean? Like where you still look money. Okay. Because I get it. Like I really am. I just, I think I'm about accessories lately. I'm all about accessories. Like, like a, like a, like instead of getting a bag, buy a watch. You know what I mean? Like do something like that instead. Bags are fucking dumb. Okay. But this is still something. You know what I mean? I'm not ready to like not be to all like, I like the fact that it's still a designer, but you don't know it's a designer. You know what I mean? Like it's just cute. It's a cute bag. This is like seven, $800. I think. So you know what I mean? It's like in the price range. I'm not doing anything over a thousand anymore. I don't want to. Like I'm sick of it. And then like also it's really annoying too. Like Bottega, those little like woven bags everyone's carrying. You can get them on Amazon now for like the fake ones for like 20 bucks. It is such bullshit. Like it's so fucked how everything can so be easily copied where everyone has a everyone has a designer bag. It's probably phony, but it just looks shitty because tacky people have ruined shit. You see what I mean? So you have to like try and steer away from looking like these tacky bitches. Okay. Tacky Instagram poor bitches. So this is like, you would look at this bag and you think, oh, that's cute. And then if you look closer, you see it still is a good brand. So you're like still elevated. Okay. And this is just Sit your damn rodent ass down. Actually, I know what you're doing right now. Sit your ugly ass down in the back of the class. Okay, shut your fucking mouth, you stupid fuck. Okay, so um, I got this and I really like it. And then um, that's my thought on designer bags. Like it's done, it's cooked. It's like literally designer jeans. Like it's over. It's like, I don't know. Like it's over. I'm telling you, it's so weird. And it like, I just clicked. It like, I had an epiphany and I was like, oh my God, like I'm right. And I'm always right about stuff. I don't know what it is. Like. That's why I like, I know about vibes. Like I know what's good. I know what's not. And I know when it's done, it's done. And I know, and if you don't get it, then, then you're dumb. You know what I mean? Just really dumb. Okay. So I also got these, um, Mew Mews. I really like them. You just gotta be really careful with them because obviously you get like one, you touch it and they get dirty. Um, but like, look at, I know everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, like the, look at this. So the Terry cloth's already coming out. So just be aware. These are just like one season thing. I just had to have them because you guys know I love slides. They look dirty. They're not though. It's the um, metal thing. Okay, I wore them like just a couple times. I really like them. Just wear them like really weirdly. Like with something like, totally unexpected, just throw them on. Um, I don't know, I like that and they're, they're cool. So I got those um, and then I got some other things too. This is my new glass. Um, you guys know I love glassware, like, like special glassware, like <sighs> vibe glassware and um, like, I know you guys love to know about every, like, you guys like, love to know where I get my tampons, like, I know. But, like, I just don't feel like, if you don't know what this brand is, like, you're dumb. You know what I mean? Like, you actually don't belong here. Look at that rainbow because of my crystal shit. Okay. Like, it's not that. It's just, like, I just don't want to have to tell you everything. Like, you need to, like, you need to educate yourself a little bit. I didn't go around, like, demanding answers from people. Like, if I like something, I would, like, try to find it myself. So, I like these. And then, um... What else? Okay, I got something really weird I wanna show you, which I'm gonna get in trouble for. And I will put you in your damn place, okay? Meh, <sighs> so cute. Okay, so um, then I wanna talk about, let me talk about my jewelry really quick. So this is, I wanna show you guys, this is the Bold Miami in silver. And this is the Bold Miami, this is the mini Bold Miami. 18 inch and 20 inch, and I wore them both. I think they look really pretty layered. Um, or like, that's my favorite, like that. Um, but in case you guys don't want one so thick, then this is another option. Um, and then this is my dream tennis necklace. It's sterling silver. It's really pretty. This is a 16 inch. Um, and then this is my super gleam, which I never take off. I love it. It's like a part of me. And if you want a thinner one, um, the Studio 54 is also a beautiful option. Um, I have both and I usually wear both, but I've just been wearing this one now because it's easier. I don't know, whatever. But I'm gonna put the other one back on too. Okay, that. 
And then earrings. Okay, I'm wearing this. this is my Core Noir. I'll put the link. I'm doing mixed metals lately. I love it. This is just like a little um, CZ diamond cross. And I like to put it in the back like that. I think it's really cute with my U-locks. And I'm just wearing U-locks on this side only. Okay, then I have like new designs. I have three new designs up. You guys should go check them out. And they are all $5. You guys know I look for my launches. I like to do like discounts. And these are $5 off right now. Um, all my new designs, like three new designs. And I have, where is it? Oh, I forgot it. Damn, it's so pretty. I'll go get it. It's, it's too pretty to show you. Fuck. Um, but let me show you these earrings first. So you guys know I love earrings that are cool and you can like mix and match. So these are called the Cle, Cle, earring CLE. It's like French word. Okay, so, and they come, you can choose the um, hardware and then you can choose the hoop that you want and they all interchange. So this is the orange and white pavé. And then here's like the black and, or sorry, the pink pavé and white, which is really cool. Super cool. And these are all $5 off. Really neat. And then here's a green pavé with a nude blush pink. Really pretty. But you can choose any hoop color you want and then like any hardware color. And then like here is um, the pink with just a regular gold, which is really cool and minimal. These are really beautiful hoops too. They're really comfortable. It's the same one that I use for this one. I love them. And then here's a purple with pink pavé. And then you can take obviously the hardware off and wear the hoop alone, but really pretty too. Pink, hot pink. And then I'm mean, just showing you different, there's a lot of different combinations, but I'm just showing you the ones that I picked up. Gold and purple, and then orange and hot pink. Such neat combos. So that's that. And then I have like a new bracelet and necklace and then ugh, the new sport club, it's upstairs, I'm gonna get it. It's too cool, I gotta show you guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so this is a sport club diamond. And I really love this because this is a 14K gold fill chain. It's a beautiful chain. Like 14K gold filled is basically, it's like not as durable as 14K obviously, but it's something you can wear every single day. It's like the next best thing to real gold. Sorry, I'm ugly. Um, okay, so let me show you. The diamonds really, or the diamond, simulated diamond, is really, really pretty. And then the bale is also like a casual, 14K gold filled bale to make it like a casual sporty diamond. I call this a sport club diamond. It's really cool with like, I wore like a wife beater with like a guy's, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I ran upstairs. Um, with like a guy's gray sweatshirt with this. It's like very girl gym vibe and it's really nice. You can wear it every single day. Um, and this chain's really pretty too. It's like sporty, but really feminine too. I love this. This is also $5 off right now. Um, and the chain, you can take off the diamond where the chain alone, it's a beautiful chain. Okay, so that's what I have as far as jewelry today. I'm not wearing anything on this hand because I had a silver stack that I took off and forgot the fucking office, stupid. Okay, um, anyway, let's get on. So let me just show you guys some more things before I go tell you guys some more list shit. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like out of breath, I'm like really gross. So the next thing is this, I've been loving um, these and I wanna show you guys these and you're gonna get mad, but I don't really care because I know you appreciate it. That's why you keep watching. And I'm talking to the fat people out there because I used to be fat. I don't even wanna get in a fight with you. Like I honestly, you guys think I'm mean or whatever. I'm not mean. Like I actually really care about, it's like not the fatties who wanna be fat. Like that's different. Actually, you guys are like actually annoying and you like try to come for me. I'm talking about people like me who were fat that don't like to be fat and like try to like always, like are always like on a diet or like just trying to lose weight. Okay, it's a thing. Like most people are like that okay sorry that like sorry that instagram promotes the people are the opposite way stupid shit okay just stop okay that's not the normal thing to be overweight and unhealthy is not attractive and it's not normal okay so stop trying to make things that are not good good okay it's stupid anyway fat people out there who are like whatever um these are good for you too um because i this is a thing when i was fat I would love to wear the, just even have these and I can really put like a sweatshirt over or like tuck the sweatshirt in the front. These will fit you. Like they're really stretchy and these are not even the biggest size and they, I still have a lot of room. So I don't, depending on how big you are, whatever, like I always, I always like have you guys in my mind. I always do. 
because I used to be there and whatever, I sympathize. So this is a good option and I know, whatever, I get like so many emails from you guys being like, thank you. So fuck you, like little rodents in the back who like try to be like, eh, eh, eh. okay. So these are really cute, they're the Versace jeans and I just love to like find things that are good for everyone. And these are good for boys too because they're really long actually, they're like shorts, but they, they end of the knees, so these are nice. Okay, um, that. And then um, the next thing I talk about, I have something like, God, you guys might think I'm insane to talk about, um, but I'm gonna talk about a list thing right now before I go on, just because I kind of want to. Okay, and that is that, that is the, um, <laughs> okay, sorry. So basically what I wanna say is this, like you guys know how I feel about big overly done celebrations as far as like inst fake shit on Instagram, right? Like how cringy it is. Okay, I, I maybe I'm like the minority in this. I might, I might be. Like I cannot stand big, like phony blown out celebrations that these like Instagram people do. And another, another one. So I usually talk about like birthdays, how like men, how like boyfriends put up like, like, it's just so try hard. They fill up a room full of balloons and like they blindfold their girlfriend and then walk the girlfriend in the room as if you don't know what's going to happen. Like you're so fucking cringy, dude. Okay. And then like the same thing with the engagements. It's it is so bad. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm in like the, I think I'm in the minority where I like, don't want a big engagement. Like I don't want a big wedding. Like I hate that. The f I don't want, like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to pay for you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you like it's a, it's one night. Like, what am I not doing? It's not a sit down, talk to you. Like, leave me the fuck alone. You know what I mean? Like, like if, if I get married, like it's going to be what I want to do. It's going to be mellow. Like come if you want, come, don't come if you don't want. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's not going to be, I just can't stand the traditional fucking how much a weddings now? 50 grand, whatever wedding with a dress, like a wedding dress. It's just, oh my God, it's, it's so over. It's just like, I'm sorry, you guys. It's just like the designer bags. Instagram has made everything so too much. It's everything is too much. Like calm the fuck down. Why can't you like get engaged like in peace? Why can't you like, why does it have to be a show? Why does everything have to be a big like, like Instagram fucking show? It's so annoying. Even if you don't have followers, you still like try to do the big Instagram show thing. Like it's like, it's to me, it's so fucking annoying. Like I can't stand it. It's just something that like, it's so annoying. And then to be honest too, like I, I wrote something and it's like, I, I kind of feel like this is the truth about it. I know it's, I don't, I don't want to say it because you're going to get mad at me, but I'm sorry. If you get knocked up and then you get engaged, like, I don't care. You know what I mean? We know why you're getting engaged. He didn't, if he didn't ask you to marry him before, we know why you're getting engaged, bitch. Okay. Like it's annoying. Why are you annoying like that? Why did you, why, why, you know, that is honestly, if what I would do, what I would do is be very quiet about it and get married. Why are you? You know that you're drawing more attention to the fact that you were not, he, that you basically forced him. Like, yeah, you got knocked him. Okay, we should get married. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. That's how I feel. And this is not a clown world because it's the damn truth. Why were you not engaged before you, you were fucking knocked up? That is the truth. I'm sick of it. I'm calling it out. Okay. So that's how I feel. And I'm just like done with the clown world. Like, I'm just sick of everyone. Why can't we just be like, why can't it be normal? Like, oh yeah, we got engaged. Why should it be this big fucking thing? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't like it. People are so cringy to me. It's just cringe. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys something you're going to flip out about, and I don't care. And if you're going to fucking tell me about cultural appropriation, you can sit your fucking dumb ass down and get out of my class. You're going to create, you're going to, you're going to like scream when you see this. You're not going to know what the fuck I'm showing you. Okay, so I love weird shit. You guys know that. I love weird shit and I love cultures. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love different culture, different languages, people. I love it. Okay. I like, I, it's something like, I just fucking love it. Okay. And, um, I got this from, where was I? Whatever. I'm not going to tell you where I got it. Okay. So this is a Kachina and it's a, um, it's an Indian Native American. I don't actually don't know what it is, to be honest. I just know it's a Kachina doll kind of thing. And it's like a warrior. And there's a little warrior on its back and they both have like swords and they're like, I don't know if they're doing like a, an Indian dance or whatever. I don't really know much about it. I just think it's really cool. And it wasn't like cheap. I think it was like, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't like ri ridiculous. But, um, and by the way, before you come for me about having an Indian, artif like Indian um, 
art in my house, suck my dick, okay? And sit your fucking ass down. If you're gonna tell me about having an Indian piece in my house, let me see some white shit you have in your house. Do you wear jeans? Do you wear jeans, you culturally appropriating little shit? Take off your jeans and throw them away because you know a fucking white person made jeans? Don't wear them anymore, you idiot. Okay, yes, that's because you're stupid and you can just sit your ass down. Okay, um, before you really interrupt me with your dumb shit, okay? Anyway, yeah, this is really cool, I love it. And there's like rabbit fur, like real rabbit fur that reminds me of Bao, you guys know that. And yes, I don't care, okay? Wait, how can you have rabbit fur when you had a rabbit? Because you're stupid, okay? This is art, you're dumb. All right, so you have like leather, um, like don't, you're really pissing me off. I can already hear your bullshit, okay? I'm literally gonna fucking kick you out of class. That's how much I hate you. All right, and then there's like this little guy on his back and the little guy has like, black rabbit fur and feathers it's really detailed and then the the teeth are like actual nails and i just i love the color of it like i love that it's all white with like white rabbit fur and like a scary face and i don't know it's very like american you know what i mean it's very like you know native american american it's very cool i love it so um i just think it looks very random but it looks really cool in my house i have it on my tv and yes, I will have whatever I'd like to have in my damn house. Okay. So before you before you were rude and you and you commented stupid shit, you can get out of my face. So that's that. Isn't it cute? Isn't it neat? It's like so cool, right? Like I actually really love it, and it's just something that this is a thing. Okay. So story time. This is makeup. It's not shit because these are my makeup pants. Yes, they are. And you know, someone shit. Someone else would have like edited that out, or, like taking that part. I don't edit my videos. Okay. Um, so like, you know what's funny? I was thinking, I was like, when I saw that, I really liked it, but like, I look very big right now. I look like the Roseanne bar. Like, I don't care. I'm not this big, it's a fucking shirt. Okay. So um, when I was like, I'm like very happy right now, right? Cause like, I'm in a relationship with like some, he loves me, I love him. So it's just like, and like, I feel like we are, working towards like a life together you know what I mean it just feels different I've never had that before like in my last relationship everything was so you and then me and then there was no us right it was just like I don't know what it was like friend like brother sister I don't even know what it was weird so um now it's like okay if I would have seen that before like out I would have never purchased you guys know that I don't purchase like like knickknacks right and we know that's oh you can call me on you actually I just called myself you are. You're gonna tell me, don't, didn't you say, don't, didn't you say that you don't buy? You're right, I don't. But I told you I'm also allowed to change my mind if I'd like to. Okay, uh, you guys are such little fucking Nazis. Okay, anyway. First of all, this is unique, okay? This is, you can't just go buy this. This is someone, someone made this. Like a Native American person actually made this. It's like actual, it's like sick. So shut up. You don't get it, okay? You just don't get it. It's not like some statue you fucking bought at a fucking TJ or fucking home goods, all right? So you, that's what you do. You go to home goods and buy like and buy like knickknacks. That's what you do. Like little like figurines. I know you do. I've seen it. Okay. So, um, okay. So now that I feel like, I don't know, it was like, I love to like, I think because I'm, I'm like happy, I am not like nesting. Is that the word? Like making more of like, like this is a memory. Like we were somewhere together and it was like a place where like a lot of Native American things and just reminded me of my time there together. So I was like, oh my gosh, was like, I really love this. And I thought about it and I was like, oh, it's kind of expensive. Like, I don't know, am I just buying it? Because it, I don't know why, I, I don't know why I just love it. I love like the rabbit fur, I love the detail. I love, I love culture, like different culture stuff. I think it's really cool. Um, and I was like, oh my God, like I would never have purchased this in my previous relationship because like I didn't want to make memories like it was not like in my headspace there like I was like different I don't know so um yeah I just really like that it's very cool and um you're rude okay you're fucking dumb and rude I'm gonna come to your house any little fucking asshole out there a little woke fuck out there who's telling me i can't have something like that in my house i'm coming to your house and i'm gonna look at the shit you have and tell you culturally appropriate everything okay now i have a skinny trick for you actually i can leave the skinny trick for last um i have these that i got and i really love them and this is a thing i have a kind of a rant to go with it too this is the brand you guys know <clears throat> bogner it's probably pronounced bogner 
but I feel weird saying Bogner. So I just say Bogner, and it's like, if you don't know what it is, you just don't. Like, this is the thing. If you're a good skier, then you have Bogner, Bogner, like you do. It's just a good quality. It's like one of like the original brand ski out ski things like all I've made in like, I think I mean like, everything's like German. It's like nice quality, very good quality ski things, okay? So I got this and you know what I hate? This is so cute for skiing, like for spring ski. I think it's so cute, even not, like I can even wear it. Like I think the thing is you can't wear like Bogner anywhere other than like in the snow. I feel like they do make stuff for like, um, yeah, the tags on my hat because it's new. Don't make me yell at you with the tags again. You guys know, you guys are very rude. Okay, so that, and then like, I feel like it's very spring ski, you know what I mean? Like, it's very cool. And this is cute, I really like this a lot. Um, but Bo Bogner is very bougie, okay? And it really bothers me when people who don't ski well have it because it's just such like phonies, you know what I mean? Because it's very expensive. It's not like cheap shit, you know what I mean? And then I got matching gloves. Because you know I love to ski. Hopefully we'll go soon. Um <coughs> so skiing together is really fun too because we're like the same kind of like, well, he's a little bit better than me, but um we're the same like level. So no one's waiting for each other, like ugh, just a match made in heaven. You know, it's what it is. Um I just can't believe, like, you guys, I don't, you guys, sorry, like, you're here for the diary. I can say whatever I want to say. If you don't want to hear it, then get the fuck off my channel. But, um, I just can't believe I found someone, like, who, like, actually, like, who actually love each other. It's weird, because I never had that before. And we have, like, a lot of the same interests and stuff. Um, but, so, that's, I don't know why that came up. I just like to share things with you guys. Okay, then the next thing, and the last thing is a skinny trick. And I'm going to take it out of my bag, because these are my commuting snacks, Okay. So any triggered fat fucks out there, exit the course now, lock yourself out of the class and never come back. You think I'm joking, I'm not. I don't want you here. There's no, you're, there, you're, help, you're helpless and you're hopeless and you're not welcome here and no one likes you and all of the above, bitch, all of the damn above. So dumb, okay. So commuting is a shit, is the shits, right? Commuting is the shit. And um, the thing is that people are really fat with commuting because you can easily just get off of the freeway and go to like a fucking drive-thru, right? It is so dangerous. Like it's honestly the most dangerous thing ever. And I just don't allow myself to do that. Every once in a blue moon, I will like allow myself to get off the freeway and get like a Diet Coke and a small fry from like McDonald's because I know the, like I can like, I know the calorie count on that, but it's very rare. <sighs> So what I love to do now, remember I got those Cheez-Its, the 50 calorie pack of Cheez-Its and there's like 10 Cheez-Its and so those are gone. I threw them away, put them at the office, whatever. I'm going to throw them away. No one's eating them. Okay. So these are my, these are my commuting snacks. And if you're going to come on here and tell me anything about being anorexic, it's because you're sick and woke and there's something wrong with you and you're fat and you're ugly or you love, you're spreading misinformation and you're not giving people the truth. Okay. Um, just like this, just like with these shorts. Okay. I'm being helpful to the fat person because I was once a fat person. I'm being helpful to them. You know what you're doing? You're telling the fat person to wear a crop top and like booty shorts and you're being like, girl, you look so good. You look so good in that because you're an evil bitch, okay? You're an evil, nasty bitch because you know they don't look good in that. No, you, you know that, but you tell them that because you're a fake, fake, woke little bitch, okay? Just like with this, you're telling your fat friend, oh, just eat the hamburger, eat whatever you want. If you're hungry, eat, okay? And that's why they're miserable and that's why they're unhealthy, because of you, because you're a liar and you're a bitch. Okay, so um, this is it, I love this. So this is like, I don't even know what it is. It's just like hot sauce, any hot sauce. So like, like um, Del Taco hot sauce is really good. This hot sauce is really good. And I just like eat the hot sauce in the car. This is zero calories, okay? I love it, it's so good. Or honey sticks. Honey sticks are not zero calories, but you don't need more than like one or two the whole commute. And it takes a long time to eat them. It keeps your mouth busy. And I really love this. So yes, these are good options. Yes, they are. You know who else is really good um, hot sauce is Jack in the Box is like the best hot sauce ever. Um, and Del Taco has really good hot sauce. And then I forget where I got this. It's red devil cayenne pepper sauce. I don't know where I got it, but um, really good. And this is, see how, see, this is the thing. I put myself out there. I put my fucking neck on a goddamn ledge for you. What's called on like a guillotine for you because I actually care about you. I'm honest. Not like the fucking woke fuck out there who's lying to you because 
that's rude. That is rude to lie to people who are, who are not doing good, the right thing in life, okay? Tell them the truth. Sick of you. I'm really sick of you guys out there. All right, so I think that's it. Um, trying to think, is there anything else? So yeah, did we learn a lot? I think we learned a lot in this class today. Um, did we learn a lot? I think we learned a lot. Like we're not buying expensive bags anymore. We're really not. Like we're not buying, we're not gonna like, we're not buying expensive bags anymore. It's not the vibe. Like I just can't, unless like I told you, and I don't know what it is. We're just not, I promise you it's not it. Like I will keep you guys up to date on what it, what it is and what isn't. But like you agree with me, right? Like anyone out there who has a collection of bags like I do, do you not feel the same way? Like it's done, it's done. I put on like the cutest outfit ever and then I throw on a bag. Like no, I literally, to be honest, I've been carrying my shit around in like in this. Like I, I don't even want, I don't even want a bag. Like it's just so disgusting. I don't know what it is. I hate it. So um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm trying to think just before I go. All right, guys. Well, don't forget all, not all of my, yeah, all of my new designs are $5 off. No code needed. It's just slashed. And um, I think that's it. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.